o i saducei che cercavano la salvezza nei compromessi con i, i poteri del mondo, con l'impero, con Salvation does not come from power or from clerical or political parties, but comes in the simplicity of the things of God. In his homily for the morning mass at Casa Santa Marta, Pope Francis noted that the day's readings speak to us about contempt. In the first reading, Naaman the Syrian, a leper, asked the prophet Elisha to heal him, but could not appreciate the simple means by which this healing would be accomplished. The Gospel spoke of the disdain the inhabitants of Nazareth felt at the words of Jesus, their fellow countrymen. It was not how we thought salvation should be, that salvation we all want. Jesus, the Pope said, felt the contempt of the doctors of the law who sought salvation in moral casuistry and in a multitude of precepts. The people, though, did not have faith in them or in the Sadducees, their rivals, who sought salvation in compromises with the powers of the world, with the Roman Empire. The one group sought salvation from clerical parties, the other from political parties. But the people did not have confidence in them, they didn't believe them. And yet they believed Jesus, who spoke with authority. But why did the powerful have this contempt? Often in our imagination, we think salvation should come from something great, something majestic. We believe only the powerful, those with strength or money or power, can save us. The plan of God, though, is different. They felt contempt because they could not understand that salvation comes only from the small things, the simplicity of the things of God. Fa una proposta della via di salvezza, mai parla di cose grandi, cose piccole. <laughs> 